Good to all my people. Welcome to Perfect Women, India's first talking magazine with me, Dr. Kushi Guru Bai Thakkar, editor and publisher. With my Perfect Women, Radhika. Uh, talking about Radhika, she is a PhD holder in math and MS degree in education management. By passion, she is an awesome author. So let's meet the beautiful souls all set here with us. Hello Radhika ji, welcome to Perfect Women. Hi, how are you? Very fine, sweetheart. You tell me how are you and how's the life and how the days are passing because 2024 is has brought a lot of spark for everybody. How it has been for you? 2024 has just like you know crossed like in a second. Just now we started to the 2024 and already January has passed by. Actually, yes. it's a little hectic for me uh, with my writing schedule and with the. I have to coach children, you know, to face their board exams. So things are going very, very, you know, tight for me. Yeah. So how do you balance your work life and your passion? Uh, it is a little difficult, but uh, I make it a point not to waste any time on anything. So it goes like a very strict schedule, but you know, when you really like what you're doing, you find the time to do it. Uh, so maybe I'm just uh, like, you know, always like I calculate in the morning, I spend some hours when I'm doing some work uh, to work, and at the same time, I plan for the day. So it's only that day's plan that I do. So when I do like that, I feel my work moves a little faster. And uh, at the end of the day, when you look back and see that what you planned, you've done, it gives you a lot of satisfaction. Uh, so that way, January has really been satisfying for me. I've been able to do what I have uh, planned. Wow, oh, that's amazing. So you have uh, published three books so far. Yeah. So can you just put some light on your writing skills and your books also, which probably everybody will like to. And where can one get the books availability? Yeah. Um, uh, though I have been writing for quite some time right from school uh, at school I used to publish some short stories and all in magazines I used to write in newspaper columns This uh, I really started bringing out my books and publishing them only in 2020 so my first mm-hmm. book was uh, a collection of short stories there are nine short stories it's called A Canopy of Carnations and mm-hmm. these short stories are in such a way that you know there is nothing new like it is things that happen every day in everybody's life and which really spice up our life. It, can, mm-hmm. it deals with emotions of human beings of different types. They may be old, young, love, hatred, jealousy, all those things. Um, mm-hmm. So that is the first book. The second book, mm-hmm. Contrived Connections, is totally different from the first. It's a novelette. It is uh, set about, uh, it's a village story. Some, see, actually, one lady traces back her path and goes back to mm-hmm. her past. So how she retraces her path and what happens there and why she goes back. So that is the story. And uh, I have brought out a a lot of village life in it. Kerala village it is actually. Uh, Mm -hmm. So I have brought out a lot of descriptions. And that also is basically a family drama. So the third book Mm -hmm. is uh, a different character totally. I wrote it for children. Even though I have young adults also reading it. It is Mm -hmm. like, um, it's a story about a girl who goes to a hostel in Konor and stays there and why she goes there with what is her purpose and what happens at the end. That story is very special to me because I wrote it for my students here. They were the ones who asked me to write something for them. And uh, second, um, second thing is, you know, it brings back my school days. A lot of what I remember from my school days, I have taken from there. So that's a very uh, special uh, thing for me. So Mm -hmm. these three books uh, are the ones that I have published and they are available on Amazon. I have also published a lot of anthologies and that process is going on. Wow, that's That's amazing. So since like your profile says more about education, more about maths and science. So how was the Mm -hmm. transformation journey from being a PhD holder in mathematics to turning an author? And, you know, like uh, when it comes to uh, writing, definitely you need a lot of brainstorming work. So how was the transformation? See, I wouldn't call it a transformation because right from the time in school, when I was studying, I was writing. So when Mm -hmm. I was doing my BSc or MSc in maths or whatever, MPhil or even PhD, I was still writing. So Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't even look at this as two different things. So one was like, you know, my profession, what I did to earn. And another one was what I did to keep myself happy. But uh, Mm -hmm. even though I started out like that, I should say like, you know, this teaching children, especially teaching maths also has 
become a sort of passion just it gives me the same joy as writing now so these two things were not at all diverse from the beginning they were together only mm-hmm. maybe when i was in college i was in a dilemma whether to choose maths or literature as my subject so mm-hmm. when i decided that i have to take maths then i could do both parallelly see if i had chosen to do literature i don't know how far i would have been able to carry the maths part mm-hmm. wow. so this i uh, so this i feel is really you know it has helped me whether knowingly or unknowingly i did it um this reading was not see it is uh, some people say it is difficult to write you know brainstorm or write and uh, mm-hmm. i feel uh, read, writing comes naturally to me because i want to write something i just write it even the drafts are a little less only i don't spend so much of time on the drafts most of mm-hmm. the work takes uh, place in the background i don't mm-hmm. have enough t- time to come here sit and edit my work so most of the editing what i plan to do and all keeps running in my mind whenever i do some other work mundane work house work or something like that so maybe that way i built up my stories and when i come to write it i'm able to do it with a few edits wow that's amazing